Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. I am so happy that you're here today. Today, we are going to be talking about patterns. Patterns that you love, patterns that you want to make, patterns you've been dying to make. This is a hashtag, I mean, this is a tag you're it video. It's called hashtags, hashtag six patterns on my bucket list. Yes, I kind of read it. And it was started by Erica, the lopsided crafter. You guys all know her and love her. Go check out her channel. She started this uh, hash, this tag. She tagged me. She told us all about six patterns on her bucket list that she's been wanting to make. And I absolutely loved them. She and I have a little bit of a love of the Stephen West and um, all his amazing colorful designs. But this is about my six patterns on my bucket list but please go check out her six patterns on her bucket lists um, because they are all very interesting and amazing for me the first pattern I'm going to share with you guys might actually surprise you a little bit because I know you guys are all thinking it's going to be a shawl but it's not my first uh, bucket list pattern is going to be from this book and it's called geometric knit blankets and it is written by margaret holzman and i bought this book about a month ago and i'm going to just show you the back all of these little bitty designs are blankets in knit format i would love to make any one of these blankets they all look like handmade quilts but they're hand knit blankets like this one i love stars i love this one um i absolutely adore this one i love this one i would love to make any of these really interesting designs and i hope to that's why i bought the book because it's just here we go here's the one i just showed you that i love i mean look at this blanket right there I'm not showing I'm not showing the pattern it's just so pretty with the stars and the colors it looks like a handmade quilt so any one of these would be just fabulous for me to make hand knit all the colors I'm sure I would learn a ton of things and then I'd have this beautiful blanket at the very end of this so any one of these patterns uh, Bucket list pattern number one. The second one is very similar to Erica's. Um, I too love the Stephen West. I would love to make his star flake shawl or blanket. He has a star flake, I think he calls it a star flanklet. Um, he's always so creative with his names. Um, but I love both of those. I love stars. Um, I love his use of colors and the way he puts the design in there. Um, I also would like to make a slip stravaganza shawl. I have made that. I'll show a picture here. Um, but I, I gave that to a friend. I promised it to a friend before I even cast it on. And then I fell in love with it as I was making it. And when I was like, I don't want to give this up. But I did. I did. I kept my promise. And so I, I would love to make another one, I think, in shades of blue. I know. Not pink, but blue. That's my pattern number two wish list the star flake um my pattern number three is the butterfly papillion shawl and this is by marinja knits i'll show you a picture and i already have some yarns for this it's a very colorful colorful shawl i have two options for the colors i have these yarns i bought to make um, this shawl with you prepare it with a more solid color to make all those beautiful um, intricate butterfly looking designs but I do want to make this shawl and I have two options maybe I'll make two shawls who knows but I do want to um, make that 
I think it's beautiful. Every time, every time I see one, like somebody will come along and post them in a Facebook group, and I'm just like, yes, I want to make that because it's gorgeous. If you guys have made that shawl, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what your experience was with it. It looks really hard. I think that's why I haven't made one yet. Um, the next item, number four on my bucket list is Waltz of the Dragonflies shawl. And the pattern is by um, Ala Borisova, a Russian lady. And it's, what, what do you think? Lace shawl. Oh, it's so beautiful. Take a look at this. Amazing lace design. I don't know if I could do it. I, it looks hard, but I want to try. And I think it's a charted pattern, so it's a little bit more complicated, but I do want to make that shawl someday. I think it would be beautiful, like in a gradient yarn. I have this beautiful, oh, I should have brought it over with me, beautiful braid, gradient blue skein of yarn. I think that would be mm, perfect for that. Pattern number four, five. I just did pattern number four. Pattern number five, something that you don't think it is. It's, uh, I would love to make a sweater top pattern. And I love Isabel Kramer's patterns. I love her Nazrin. I would love to make her Jingle or her Tiberius or her Manu sweaters. I think they're all gorgeous. Any one of the, sorry, I hit the table. Any one of those would be amazing to make. So I would love to do one of her sweater designs. She also has really cute tops. And my list, this is number six, my list would not be complete if I did not include another shawl from Boo Knits, Beverly Boo, of Boo Knits, because I made many of her shawls. You guys have seen Morning Star, Love Is, um, Hope Remains, um, uh, the, the shawl I just made for Lisa, the Passionista, and also Gothic Angel. I made all of those shawls of hers, but there's still more I would love to make. I would love to make Lestrange, uh, Love in a Mist, Moonflower, and by the way, I have already started the Moonflower Shawl. This is what I've started with it. I have gotten that far with it, and this is a gradient brown yarn. That's what it's going to end up looking like um, with, let's see, I know there's beads already on here. Let me see if I can show you what the beads are looking like. It's like a little brown bead, if you guys can see that. And so, Moonflower, I've already, like I said, I've already started that. Quite Continental, Venus Rising, and Morticia. Those are all my really hot ones I want to make, and there's more, of course. I probably would love to make every one of her patterns, because they're so well-written, so much fun, and just turn out amazing. Um, that is my six uh, pattern bucket list. I know I gave you more than six. I think I gave you probably 50 on each one of my numbers. So, um, as you can see, I will be busy for the rest of my life. Um, I want to encourage you guys, if you're not a creator, if you are just someone who likes to watch uh, about knitting or crochet and you're watching this video, put a comment down below. Please share with me what are some of the patterns on your bucket list. Share with all of us in this group that are going to be here watching this video what you would like to make. What are your top six bucket list patterns? And um, I do need to tag some creators. This is kind of the, the way this thing works. So I'm going to try to tag new people. I try to tag new people I've never tagged before. So I'm going to tag Crochet, a.k.a. Nana Michelle. I'm going to tag David Browning. I'm going to tag Crafty Grandma Gina. I am going to be tagging Lisa, Ladybird Loves. So I would love to hear what you guys would like, to, which, what's on your bucket list. So share those with us if you can. If you can't, I understand. Everybody has busier, you know, sometimes they have time constraints and they can't make a video like this. But if you can, please let us know what you guys would love to make. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, I appreciate you listening and letting me share um me with you but please share you with me put some comments down below let me know what you're thinking of making and uh are dying to make and uh again thank you for being here i hope you have a lovely day 
and uh, I will catch you all very, very soon.